today we are in the eastern region, testing Evans Waterless Coolant in the desert, one of the hottest uh, desert of Saudi Arabia. Uh, with us is Mr. Akram. Uh, we converted a test vehicle yesterday and drove it around the desert today. So, Mr. Akram, what's your suggest? What's your opinion on Evans Coolant? How did it perform during our testing? Well, since yesterday, I found a lot of difference. Uh, there is no comparison with the normal coolant. With Evans, I, the temperature doesn't that doesn't rise a lot. Even if I put it to the, to the max, I just like uh, uh, 20 minutes ago when I tested in the desert, the temperature rose until. 105 and stayed there it didn't go above that normally with the no, uh, normal coolant uh, I start to panic if the temperature reaches that point and when I when I see 105 I just look under the chassis if there's any leakage and normally it happens there is leakage and the radiator cap opens and releases the vapors on the, and the water uh, to the small tank but with Evans I see it perfectly good on my car uh, we left the car for a long time on idle to when why we were inflating the tires uh, uh, did you see any difference in the ideal temperatures compared to water-based coolant yes uh, how far did the temperature rise go on idle because we idle for like about 20 minutes that's pretty long on a hot day in desert uh, like I said, it stops at 105. Stops it, at 105. It, it, it didn't go above that. Okay, you have been driving the car all day today. One part of our testing was to uh, was to test the traffic in, uh, was to test the vehicle in the traffic jam of the mom. Yeah. Uh, how did it perform in the traffic jams? Same thing. It didn't go above 105 because I didn't put any load on it. It just be, stayed between 100 and 105, and that's pretty much uh, excellent. To, uh, especially. Jeep, everybody knows that the Jeep engines develop a lot of heat and uh, stayed between 100 and 105. When I drive, it, the, the temperature goes down. And that's good. Excellent, actually. Um, what is the percentage of temperature difference you see compared to a water based coolant and Evans waterless engine coolants? Uh, between them, there's a lot of difference. Percentage wise, uh, you will notice the difference. You'll notice the difference when you use Evans. I would, I would go for Evans directly. After using it now, I, I recommend it to my friends. Okay, yesterday when we were in the workshop, we saw that with water-based coolant, your car on idle uh, went up to 125. Yes. Okay, but with Evans, we left the car on idle uh, for about 20 minutes. It didn't go up to 125. It began maximum 110. Yeah, 110, 105. Okay. It go, goes below that. So, um, are you satisfied with the experience with Evans that it helps control metal temperature better and or solves overheating problems? Yes, yes. I recommend it. Do you recommend the product for your friends? Yes. If you want to stay cool, go with Evans. Well, uh, thank you Mr. Akram, thanks a lot for your kind words and uh, we are pleased to have you as one of our events test drive customer and uh, we believe we will go a long way with your recommendation and promoting events products in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, plus it's an old engine, it's a 97 Jeep Cherokee, so that tells you how good it is. Okay, thanks a lot Mr. Akram. Welcome. And we'll be in touch.